Hello, in this Vulcan video, we are going to be continuing with drawing a triangle and we are still on presentation. We are getting towards the end now of the presentation part and then we'll be moving on to, to the graphics pipeline. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be implementing image views. So not crazy amount of code for this, so we'll just scroll down. First of all, we need to create a new variable so std colon colon vector which we already included ages ago the vector class vk image view there we go i'm gonna call it underscore swap chain image views and this will be used to store the images in the chain okay so the next thing that we're going to do is go down to the init vulcan method and call the create image views function which again i've uh, done in pretty much every other video in terms of the methods here we haven't implemented yet but we will be very very soon next while we're here let's do some cleanup so we're going to loop over the swap chain image views vector and just clean it up so do auto image view underscore swap chain image views and to clean it up you just do vk destroy image view and you specify the device the image view which is just this right here and finally you specify a callback but we're just going to put no pointer because we're not <coughs> interested in, in any callbacks again if you are feel free to you know trigger the callback that's obviously totally up to you so now all we have left to do is implement the create image view so if we go down oh pretty after the create swap chain where is it here we go so if we just put it after here so we'll just put it over here so we're going to create implement the create image views method then for void create image views and okay first of all we're going to do swap chain image views dot resize and we're going to resize it to the vector of swap chain images that we created in the previous video underscore swap chain images dot size so it lines up pretty basic stuff now we're going to loop over all of our swap chain images so for and we'll say size underscore t and i always forget what this is so unsigned long long unsigned long long i just prefer it like this to be fair r equal zero if the source code says size underscore t it's the same thing and i what is less than the swap chain images size pretty basic stuff in terms of for loops we're just going to keep going okay so the first thing we're going to do is create the image view creation object so that is vk image view create info create info curly braces not parentheses as i have made that mistake before so create info dot s type equals vk underscore structure underscore type underscore image underscore view underscore create info okay next we're going to say create info dot image is equal to the swap chain images i like so next what we're going to do is set how the images should be rendered should be handled so we could set here the 1d texture 2d textures 3d textures q maps totally up to you the so word just set it as a 2d texture to do that you do spell it correctly first put create info dot view type equals vk underscore image underscore view underscore type and then well you just specify how you're doing it so for me it was just the 2d that i said semicolon and we just assign the format as well so create info dot format equals underscore swap chain image format and 
now what we want to do is specify how a component is swizzled so we'll just put create info dot components dot r so r is red equals vk underscore component and we will swizzle uh, vk component swizzle identity we want that the same for green blue and alpha so we'll just copy and paste this so we got four instances, so R, G, B, and A. And now what we're going to do is we are going to set the sub resource range. And this describes how the image, you know, describes the image's purpose and basically how it should be used. So because this is just going to be a simple color, well, that's all we'll be setting. We can specify mip map pin and multiple layers as well if you want to so i'm going to put create info dot sub resource range dot aspect mask equals vk underscore image underscore aspect color bit and then we'll set the base mip level and we're just going to put that to zero so create info dot sub resource range dot base mip level equals zero we'll now set the level count to one so create info dot sub resource range dot level count equals one and then we'll say create info dot sub resource range dot base array layer equals zero create info dot sub resource range dot layer count equals one Okay, so we're almost done now. So at the end of the for loop, we're gonna create the image view based on all of these parameters that we've set. So we'll say if VK create image view. Uh, there we go, that's the one we wanted. And we need to first specify the device, then a reference to the create info that we just created here then some callbacks again just put no pointer a reference to the swap chain image views and i as the index and we're going to say if this does not equal to vk underscore success then we'll throw an error throw std colon colon runtime error and we'll say failed to create image views. And that's it. We're all good to run. So let's give it a run. Hopefully we get no errors. So far it's saying they haven't detected any errors. Boom, there we go. And here we go. So all done. That validation error, that's again, that's just because of the anisotropic stuff. You can ignore that. That's not an issue. Okay, so we have now implemented image views. So that's the presentation of the drawing of triangle side done. In the next video, we'll be starting the graphics pipeline. We've got a few videos covering that, so feel free to check them out. I'm sure you will if you've made it this far. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. There's over 4,600 members now growing every single day we'll be at 5000 in no time that click wasn't as good let's do another one there you go my left hand click is much better than my right hand for some reason yeah so we'll there's also a vulcan channel in there that you can post your questions in and a bunch of other channels from programming to finance there's a link to the github page in the description so you can grab the source code plus working projects for each video as well and that's it. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next Vulcan video.